clubs honor the idea that going out to dinner is a special experience and should last an entire evening. These clubs are often family owned and usually it's a hub for family and friends. And joining us now is Ron and I want to say Fayola is his last name. He is a filmmaker who made a documentary in 2011 about Wisconsin Supper Clubs. And now he's written this book as a follow up. It is called Wisconsin Supper Clubs, an old fashioned experience. Mm -hmm. We're thrilled that you're here. What is a supper club? How is it different than a restaurant? Um, they're family run. They, um, the families often live on the premises. They have uh, different hours. A lot of times they close for the winter or they have uh, four days a week that they're open even in summer. Um, they have scenic views, unusual decor. Um, Basically, you know, it's uh, they're not cookie cutter like mm -hmm. some like of the chain chains. restaurants exactly. or okay. and the, the level of service is higher because the family is always there. Or, you know, somebody from the family's there. So if you have a, an issue, uh, there's somebody there to take care of it. That takes it more personally than. And I always think, too, they take as much pride in their cocktails, their cocktails as they do in their food. Those classic cocktails with really good old-fashioned, old-school bartenders. Exactly. That's, and that's part of the experience. That's mm -hmm. the other thing is they make a lot of, most of their food from scratch. Mm -hmm. So it's, recipes have been handed down over generations. You've had some unusual food on your trips. Yes. Um, chicken gizzards, maybe not so strange to some people. But what's up with the deep-fried turtle? Did you actually <laughs> taste it? I ate it, yes. I, there um, it is. <laughs> It was a surprise to me. I was in Hazel Green, which is in the very southwestern corner of the state, and the Mississippi River's right there. And uh, the restaurant, Three Mile House, said, we, uh, oh, today we have a uh, turtle on the menu. And I said, I got to try it. And he said, it's fresh out of the Mississippi. It's a snapping turtle. And it was very intimidating, if you see the picture. But it was, the guy turned the dish around. He said, well, don't, there's the leg bone. I'll oh. take that piece, you know, and then I got the middle part, and that was really good. It actually, it tasted like dark meat turkey, so. You've had deep fried turtle. <laughs> and I want to look at some of the other pictures there. You can run through them sure. because there's some beautiful pictures in your book. And really, Wisconsin stands out as a supper club state, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We are the supper club state, and we just saw some whitefish from Ellison Bay. There was Jimmy Jackson with his steaks at uh, Jackson Grill. Those are some big steaks. There are some big steaks there. There's a lobster boil down in Milton. Uh, they do 90 lobsters in a pot and Whoa. then do the boil over like they do. Do you hear more. screaming? <laughs> they say that, yeah, no, they, it's mostly uh, just a lot of yelling to get out of there. But uh, Right. <laughs> uh, that's, again, there's Jackson Grill's, uh, the color vases they have throughout the, Beautiful. the decor. That is the best fried perch I've had at Crops in Green Bay. Crops in Green okay. Bay, okay. I don't know We're where they get note. their perch, but mm -hmm. yeah. amazing, amazing. There's Red Deacon at uh, the um, uh, Diamond Gems down in Hales Corners. He plays Wednesdays and Saturdays. There's the relish tray that Dre was talking about. Excellent. It's got to have the radishes. Something healthy to nibble on while you're deciding how big of a steak to have, which they're... That looks like a good one potatoes, on a bed of mashed yeah. potatoes. And, um, oh, that's the wall at the mill up, up in Sturgeon Bay. Supperclubbook.com is the website where you can find out more about Ron and all the great supper clubs in Wisconsin. Thank you. Thank it was you for a real treat. Me. Thank you so much. Sure. Join us for a full hour of the Morning Blend tomorrow at 9 a.m. For more Morning Blend, go to themorningblend.com.